Hello guys, in this video we are going to see the JK Flip-Flop IC CD4027. CD4027 is dual JK Flip-Flop IC. This is JK Flip-Flop. And in this IC we have two more extra pin and these are set and reset. And this is the pin diagram of CD4027. As you can see, here we have first flip-flop and this is second flip-flop. For the practical, we will use this second flip-flop. Pin number 8 and 16 are power supply pin. Q and Q bar are the output. J, K, set, reset and clock pin are the inputs. Now let's see the truth table of JK flip-flop, clock, J, and K. These three are inputs. Q and Q bar are outputs. Whenever clock is zero, then in the output we will get the previous state, that is memory. And these both inputs are don't care. Now if clock is one and both J and K are zero zero, then also we will get memory that is the previous state. If clock is 1, j is 1 and k is 0, then we will get q as 1 and q bar as 0. Again clock is 1, if j is 0 and k is 1, then we will get q as 0 and q bar as 1. Clock is 1, if both j and k are 1, then we will get racing or we can call it toggling. Circuit diagram. Here is the IC CD4027. Pin 16 is connected to the 5 volt and pin 8 should be connected to the ground. Pin number 6 is J and will provide signals with a switch. One pin of the switch is connected to the pin number 6. Other pin is connected to the plus 5 volt. As this IC is digital IC, so we have to connect pull down resistor with input pins. The value is 10 kilo ohms. To see whether the switch is on or off, we are going to connect an LED with this a resistor and this will be connected to the ground. The value is 220 ohms. And we have to do the same connection with K. With clock pulse, the connection will be the same but the switch is different. This is push button switch and across the switch we have to connect a capacitor. The value is 0.1 microfarad. This capacitor is connected for the debouncing of switch. Pin number 7 is set and pin number 4 is reset. Now come to output. Pin number 1 is Q and pin number 2 is Q bar. With pin number 1 we are going to connect a green LED and then a resistor and it will be connected to the ground. The value is 220 ohms. And like this we have to do the same for Q bar. So this is our circuit connection. Now we will make this circuit on breadboard. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. For the practical, we need this IC4027, this kind of switch, push button switch, 220 ohms resistor, 10 kilo ohms resistor, 0.1 microfarad capacitor and LEDs. Putting the IC, pin 16 is connected to the positive rail, pin 8 is connected to the ground, connecting 10 kilo ohms resistor with pin number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then it is connected to the ground. The switch is for J and it is for K. This is for clock pulse, this is for set and this is for reset. One pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail. Connecting input LEDs, this is for set, reset, clock pulse, this is for J, K, connecting output LED, this is for Q, Q bar, 0.1 microfarad capacitor is connected across the switch, connecting 220 ohms resistor with the negative pin of the LED and then it is connected to the ground, pin number 6 is J, so this switch should be connected to pin number 6. Pin number 5 is K, so it should be connected to pin number 5. Pin number 3 is clock pin, 
So this switch should be connected to pin number 3. Pin number 7 is set. So this switch should be connected to pin number 7. And this switch is reset and it is connected to pin number 4. All the inputs are connected. Now come to output. Pin number 1 is Q. So it is connected to green LED. The positive pin of green LED. And pin number 2 is connected to positive pin of red LED. So this is how we have completed our connection. Now we have to connect plus 5 volt. Here is our negative and 5 volt positive. See the first two condition clock 0 and clock 1 and in both condition the output is in memory state or the previous state. Now clock is 0 so it is in previous state and if we provide the clock pulse but still we are getting the previous state because the J and K are 0. Now see the third condition J is 1. If we provide clock pulse then the output will be Q. Now see the fourth condition K is 1. If we provide clock pulse then it will be Q bar. And now see the fifth condition both J and K are 1 and if we provide clock pulse then the output will be toggling. Now let's discuss set and reset. If set is high then whatever the input is you will get Q. Always you will get Q. And if reset is high then whatever the input is you will get Q bar. If both is high, then you will get both. But this is not possible. Q and Q bar cannot be same. Okay, so this is about set and reset. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I will show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.